their government agencies watching out for you, working together to protect the U.S. homeland and American interests. But who's watching them? It's up to Congress to make sure these agencies are doing their jobs. But are congressional panels really doing their jobs? Let's bring in our congressional correspondent, Brianna Keeler, who's looking at this story for us. Uh, how many committees are involved in overseeing this issue of security? It's actually mind-boggling how many there are. When you look at the committees and the subcommittees that are tasked with overseeing national security, there are actually more than 80. And just take a look at the committees that are planning on having hearings or have requested briefings here toward the end of this month. In the Senate, you have four. And then in the House, you have one that has requested uh, a briefing, the Intelligence Committee, and the Homeland Security Committee that is going to have a briefing uh, this month. This was, uh, of course, this many committees. This was the target of much criticism by the 9-11 Commission. It said that Congress was splintered in its attention to terrorism, and there was overlap between committees. For instance, officials would have to give the same briefings or testimony over and over for different committees. I actually spoke with former Congressman Lee Hamilton, the vice chair of the commission, and he said, Wolf, that not a whole lot has changed here. Well, the 9-11 Commission also said that Congress didn't really give itself the tools to engage in the proper kind of oversight. Yeah, that's right. It did say that. The commission said Congress was not providing robust oversight, wasn't really holding feet of the intelligence officials to the fire. Part of the problem, the commission said, was that these committees tasked with oversight don't control the funding of intelligence agencies. It's the appropriations committees, not the intel committee, or as it is now, the Homeland Security Committee as well, that holds the purse strings. Here's what Lee Hamilton said about that. The committees, in order to crack down, insist upon, demand performance by the bureaucracy, must have money power. They must be able to say, you're going to do this, you're not going to get your money, or the bureaucrats will pay very little attention to them. And that's what's happening in the intelligence community. One example of this, Hamilton told us, would be for the Homeland Security Committee to be able to insist on having better, say, security scanners system-wide and actually having a very tangible consequence that the department's funding would be contingent on this demand. So a lot of work to be done in, in reorganizing, if you will, the Congress itself uh, as far as those recommendations of the 9-11 Commission are concerned. Brianna, thank you.